This Tech Quick Tip is brought to you by your technology tutor. Hello, my name's Chet Davis, and I'm happy to share this information with you. Today's Tech Quick Tip deals with the topic of PIN, a PIN number, which is duplicative, right? Because PIN, P-I-N, is an acronym that stands for Personal Identification Number. So when you talk about a PIN number, you're talking about a Personal Identification Number number. Well, what's the purpose of a PIN? Well, the primary purpose of a PIN is security. And in today's world, we use four-digit PINs. Okay? A four-digit PIN, for some folks, including yours truly, can be difficult to remember. So what sometimes people do is they come up with very easy-to-use PINs. And we're going to see today in this infographic that that can be a big problem. Now, this infographic is uh, provided by a company that I regularly receive information and materials from. I have no connection uh, with this company other than the fact that I receive their information and sometimes I share it with my audience because I find it terribly relevant. Now, to give credit where credit is due, the company is called backgroundcheck.org and the infographic, which is kind of like a cool looking poster, is titled How Safe is your pin. Now I'm going to skip down to a bunch of information except to identify that when you take four digits that are used in a pin, the digits 0 to 9, there are 10,000 possible combinations. This was shocking to me. Nearly 50% of the respondents in one survey admitted to freely sharing their pins with others. Now take a look at this over on the left side. Let me zoom in. And this is pretty surprising because these are the top 20 pins that folks choose when they're working with a four-digit combination. Now, why this is important? Because these 20 combinations account for m almost 27% of the pins used in uh, this study. And what this tells us is that um, we're not the only ones to be aware of this. This is something that hackers, that folks who are attempting to thrive off of the financial success of another person know about as well. So why I'm telling you this is because I want you to double check and make sure that you're not using one of these pins. The most popular pin more than 10% of the people uh, that were identified in this survey were using 1234. Okay? And you can see right on down the line 11110000, 1212, etc., all the way down to 1010. So it is very important that you don't use any of these combinations. You want to use a combination that's not easy to figure out. As it indicates over here, the best type of pin to have is something that isn't memorable in any particular way. So again, to cement this, if you are using one of these top 20 pins, it is highly advisable that you stop using those and select another one right away. Some other important information I want to share from this infographic is that many people use pins that are associated with, uh, with years, with calendar dates. And so it's important you be careful of that in particular, if you have things like your birth date, uh, a wedding anniversary, the birth date of uh, a, a son or daughter available on any social media, for example, on your Facebook page, this is something that other people have access to as well. And if they guess that, they may be able to guess a PIN number and access banking account, online information, etc., etc. From this great infographic, the four things to remember is don't use an easy-to-guess pin. Number two, do not write the pin on your credit card, on your debit card, or don't keep it inside your wallet because if your wallet's stolen, they'll know where to look for that pin. Have different pins for different credit cards. I understand this is difficult and challenging, but if you want to make sure you're financially secure in today's world, it is important to follow these steps. And lastly, be sure and shield your pin as you type it in to an ATM or another machine. Maybe it's at the, uh, at the supermarket checkout or what have you.
Again, these PIN numbers something we all use daily, if not more than multiple times a day. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you have questions, if you have suggestions for a follow-up or a future tutorial or a workshop or another resource that will help you get the most out of today's technology, I'd be happy to hear from you. You can reach me most easily via my website. That's yourtechnologytutor.com. Yourtechnologytutor.com.